Hi, my name is Harold Enger from Spring Green Lawn Care, and I want to tell you a little bit about a type of grass called tall fescue. Now, of all the cool season grasses, tall fescue is the most heat and drought tolerant, and that is the type of grass that is normally used in the area of the country called the transition zone. Transition zone is generally where it's too hot for most of your cool season grasses to grow well, and it's too cold for most of your warm season grasses. And so the grass that really does the best is the type of grass called tall fescue. Now the original type of tall fescue was called K31. It was a very wide bladed grass. But through genetics and, and cross uh, breeding, they have now developed what is type called turf type tall fescue. And turf type tall fescue produces a very lovely lawn like what you see here in this yard. Now, tall fescue has some basic requirements that will help it stay looking nice like you see in this lawn. The one thing you need to do is to mow it high. It cannot be mowed short and expect it to look and maintain this type of green color when it is hot, 95 degrees and dry, where it doesn't rain for two or three weeks. You've got to keep it mowed high. That is so important in keeping your tall fescue lawn looking good. This particular lawn is probably mowed at about four inches, which is a good height for the summertime. This area hasn't had rain for two weeks, and as you can see, this lawn still looks green because tall fescue can develop a very deep root system and go way down into the ground to grab water to keep the plant looking good. Now, as I said, tall fescue can vary in width and blade width, and here you can see in these grass samples, two different examples. One's a little bit wider than the other one. But if you put them all together, it blends in and looks very nice. And the one thing about tall fescue is that it does need to be reseeded every year. And it's a process where we go across with a machine called a core aerator, and we take out plugs of soil and thatch and leaves them back on top of the ground. And then we go across with seed, we broadcast the seed across it. And this is generally done in the late summer, early fall. And this will help that turf to recover. Because like I said, it's got great heat tolerance, but the uh, drought tolerance is okay, but it's still gonna thin out, especially during excessive heat. For more information on tall fescue, contact your neighborhood lawn care professional at Spring Green, or you can visit my Ask the Expert blog at spring-green.com.